You better start today. Hold up and jam. This is the big day for trick-or-treating. For trick-or-treating and for our costume reveal, which... Uh, ours is going to be really good, you guys. So we get think on it's it. going to be very we hilarious. Think it's be hilarious. If you all need a laugh, which... Who doesn't need a laugh right now? Yeah, we definitely need a laugh. Then tune in. <sighs> How are you? I'm good. I have hair stuck in my mouth. Yeah. I walked out and one boot was down. <laughs> yeah. um, we had to change really quickly and my boot got cut and my skirt and I fell over in my dressing room. <laughs> so anybody that heard a huge loud bang. That was you. That was me. Moments before is so different than the right before the show. It's so, I'm right when well, you go Well, it's show. sort of like when you're having a party, for example, and you've cleaned your house. You know, uh -huh. you know how you clean your house for a party like you're having a date over? You don't clean your no, house I, for well, a party? No, well, I haven't had a party yet. You told me you had people over. Oh, that's a barbecue outside. No, I mean, like, you mean people to come in and be like, hi, welcome. You don't clean your house for a party? Oh, yeah. You yeah. move shoes from the front. Mm -hmm. You know how you get your party ready like you're getting mm -hmm. your house ready for a party like a first date or something? Mm -hmm. And and you're like, Henry, you know, remove the cobwebs or something. And then people walk in and you're like, hey. <laughs> I know. Do you know that it's feeling? Like, yes. It's or you like... walk into church and you're like, kids, pull up your pants. <laughs> no, no, no. You sh I told you not to wear that sweatshirt. And then you walk in and you're like, hello, reverend. <laughs> That's how the beginning of our show is. I, I was it. on the ground two yeah, minutes was, ago. She was. I thought your heel was stuck in that. There's a place where all the all the high the heels get stuck. The boot was folded and, yeah. over because that's the boot that caught. Can I just make a comment about this? Is not off point, but the Yankees. And the reason I want to make this point is because of course it goes to sports. Yeah. No, but this is why. So language matters, okay? So the Yankees are down three games. Everyone's like, oh no, oh no, they're gonna, they, you know, Dodgers are gonna sweep. Yeah. And I was in the car with Eddie yesterday, and he's a huge Yankees fan. He's like, oh no, this isn't good, this isn't good, not good, not good, not good, not good. <laughs> and I said, we're gonna reframe language, and this is why I said this. Mm -hmm. When we were at the retreat, yes. Maria and I were sitting on stage, and a woman said to her, I'm 57 years old, I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost, I don't know what to do, my kids are this, I don't have a profile, I don't know what I want, I'm lost. And she goes, can you help me, Maria? And Maria said, I can't help you, because I don't know you very well, but I'm gonna give you some advice. She said, you're not lost because you're here. You came here. So let's reframe how we speak about ourselves. You're not lost, you're seeking. You're not lost, you're searching. Mm -hmm. It's like when someone says, oh, I'm so fat, I want to lose weight. I feel, it's like, don't say that. Say, I want to get healthy. Yeah. So we were in the car, Eddie and I, yes. talking about that. And I said the day before, you know, before the Yankees won. And he goes, you know, it's not good. I go, let's reframe. Because let's, right now we're going to reframe this game. We're yes. doing it in the car on the way to work. Mm -hmm. And we did this whole thing. We're like, w when we win this one, we did this Do whole thing. Do you think thing. the Yankees won because of you and Eddie? <laughs> But I'm saying that instead of saying, oh, no, this Wait, always happens, you, we're the worst. You, am I getting this because I fell over in my dress? <laughs> no, no but, I, but I was thinking about how we describe yeah. ourselves and situations. Yes. You know, you know, the person is always like, oh, I always have bad luck. Yeah. Well, of course you do, yeah. man. Yes. Stop saying that. Yeah, like, why words matter. Up right now? I don't know. <laughs> because I was thinking about how words matter and how you describe yourself actually very well. You respect yourself. You like yourself. Yeah. And you do. I do. But You're, I also but think you it's also Recognize when you fall that on there's your... chaos and moments yeah. before yeah. calm. Yes. You know? True. Like there's True if you don't get in a fight with your child before church, I then don't know you, who you are. <laughs> you are our you're not friend. my you're not yeah. me. Um that's okay. very hilarious. Okay, right. you guys, Melissa McCarthy, who yes. we are obsessed love, with. Love. Um, she was on Watch What Happens Lives over the weekend with her husband, who we also love, Ben, ben Falcone. He is so awesome. And Andy asked them this. They, he asked them what they thought the key is to a long-lasting relationship, and this is what they had to say. You know, people say, don't go to bed mad. Mm -hmm. I say, it, go to bed mad. It's fine. <laughs> you forget what the hell you were fighting about in the first place. I guarantee it works. I promise. Okay. It's like. And we don't, that happens almost never. Almost never. never right. But, but yeah, I'm always like, should we talk? Right. Like, it, it really And then it's like, rare. you know, you're like, we're going to figure it out at 2.15 after I've had three cocktails. It's like, right. no. <laughs> He was dressed up as... I couldn't hear him because I was looking at the wings. Yeah, what yeah. was... Was he dressed up as a gargoyle? Gargoyle? I think was that, maybe it was, it was a Halloween dress-up show. I guess so. Um, um, what did he say? 
Is bed that, angry. They, they, they go to bed angry? Yeah. I, you know and what? he thinks it's It fine. always made me feel bad because that was my grandparents' piece of advice. One Wait, of them don't go to bed was angry. don't go to bed angry. Yeah. And then when Henry and I'd get in fights and go to bed angry, I would always over, feel like guilty. early in marriage or overthink yeah, it. Like, yeah, yeah, why did we do that? You know, oh, this but must sometimes be. you can't resolve. Because he's right. If you're exhausted, just go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Sleep is the cure for go to bed. everything. Yeah, and when you wake up, but don't bury it. You have to, I think that's the other you thing, because you're like, oh, well, that's over now, because those things get swept under the carpet until yeah. there's a big, huge pile. That's true. Okay. Okay, you guys, we have some coupled news overnight. Oh, yeah, we're, we're sad. Channing Tatum and Zoe Kravitz have called off their engagement after dating for three years. Um, anyway, they, we love them. We yeah. felt like they were perfect, <laughs> and they were ours, and it's time for us to let them go. <laughs> You know, you know, it's so funny how we romanticize other people's relationships. What is up with that? And then we get upset when it doesn't work. Oh, I know. I think it's because it's like anything. It's like, you know how people had this kind of visceral anger toward, let's say, Tiger Woods when all that cheating was going on. They yes. were so mad at him. Yeah. Women were like, what was he doing? Yes. It's like, I, you know, it wasn't, obviously it was not good, but it's sort of like, it's your own business. Totally. Like, you're so mad. And we're mad because we like romance. Well, they we also like, feel like, like the perfect yes, high school couple. Yes. That you're like, surely those two, you know, High school people will get married and then they don't. And then they don't, and you're like. Life is life. I know, and sometimes it happens, and sometimes we want good news, so we want them to I stay know. together. I know, and we understand, too, because somebody brought up this point. It's the perfect, this is uncuffing season. What do you mean? We're going we're gonna to say it right here. This season of October is uncuffing season. We have a lot of things stirring up. You know what we got? We got Halloween tomorrow. They don't need to dress up in matching costumes. Okay, good, good sense, yeah. We've got the election. I, I got mad at my own husband last night because he was planning to early vote without me, and I said, we always vote together. So there you go. Keep he going. He said, I'm going tomorrow, and I said, how dare you? I uh -huh. have to work tomorrow. Okay. We go on Friday. Okay, and what else? And he said, yes, yes ma'am, ma because I told you. <laughs> We've got Thanksgiving, where yeah. you would have to, you know, he Sit would be the sitting with and Lenny and his leather, Keep going. Oh, God. saying the yeah. prayer and uh -huh. such. You know, that's hard. We've got Christmas. Christmas presents. The pre you know, all the presents. That's a lot. New Year's Eve kiss and Valentine's Day, y'all. This is the best day to break up. <laughs> the best day, you're the right. The very best day of the year. We've also got the Super Bowl. You have to root for their team. You know what I mean? This is good. You they know what? You make good sense. You make a great argument. Well, it wasn't my argument to make, but I've just repeated somebody else's brilliance. But I will just say, they say January is cuffing season because you're through with the holidays and such. This is uncuffing day, and we understand you, Zoe and Okay, Shannon. we understand. Mm -hmm. All we right, understand. here we go. So according to Thrillist.com, social media is embracing a brand new trend this fall, and it's called this, the frazzled English woman. So thank Kate, Kate Winslet, Winslet in the, in the holiday. holiday. Or Renee Zilweger and Bridget Jones Diary, or okay. Hoda and I every single day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's all over TikTok. Here are some videos. We can't hear. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, okay. There this it is. is this is it. Okay. So we thought, hmm, who could really kind of make this come to life like nobody else? Our resident style guy, Sean. Sean. Yeah, Sean. Oh. Come on in. Oh. oh, Sean, you look so you look great. Cute. So I have a lot of stuff for you guys to put I mean, on too. Sean, your New Yorker bag is perfect. Turn around and show your New Yorker bag. You're just, you're just you constantly so on the go. You have stuff to hold and you got stuff to do. All, okay. What do you want to so do? So let's get up. Okay. okay. Get up. Let's get up. That's number one. Okay. So you're I feel put like on. my base layer is good for this. Do you, yes, Sean? Yes, I class? agree. Okay. So then, but I would put on just like a chunky oh, over. cardigan over. Okay, okay cardigan. One for is this your personal sweater? This is all stuff from my closet. Okay. It is. Yes, it is. You don't have lights, do you? No, not that I last checked. Okay. We have a friend who's going through things right now. Yeah. And I was told not to wear other people's and clothes. It's, and it's not about looking perfect or doing your hair. You're just throwing stuff on and going out the door. Is this yeah. on and properly? It doesn't matter. Okay. And I also oh, feel looks, like we could be in your cat. Timothy Chalamet. Your, yes, that's look. true. It's very Timothy is Chalamet. It, You're a week late. These scarves are rainy. Oh, Don't we look like we can be in the Timothy Chalamet competition? Just put your bag on. Oh, what's my bag? Just a bunch of bags. Okay. This is I think so I need cute. one glove. And, yeah, right? one glove. Okay. okay, I'll use this. Okay. I'll use your other one. Okay. Okay. I'll use All right. One. And it's or just we could be Mary Poppins, like Chemony, Chemony, Chem, Chem, Chemy. Oh yeah. Okay, guys, we got a great show for you. The sisters behind the hit rom-com. Nobody wants this. Aaron and Sarah Foster We're are obsessed here. with them. And later, our girl Zana catches up with actress Zoe Deschanel. But coming up next, we're going to check out the viral debates that the internet divided. I like this. it when you and I match. Me too. By the way, right? Thank you. All right, there's
there's some fun debates causing a stir on social media right now, so that means it's time for the Internet's Divided. Here to tell us what everyone is talking about is today digital editorial director Ariana Davis. Hi. Ladies, you were at our wellness weekend I and you, were, you, look you look bright and, and happy. Feeling well. All right. All right. All right. You All right. made space for okay. me. I love you. Yeah. All right. What do you <laughs> got? Let's talk about the first thing. The first thing may actually make you not as well, which is boo baskets. So boo baskets is the latest trend and it's for Halloween. So previously, you know, it was just about trick or treating and costumes. Now the new thing is these baskets, which are full with treats, candy, but maybe also socks, pencils, and you're giving these baskets to loved ones. You're making them for your kids. You may make them for your neighbors. So it's a sweet idea in theory, but our parents writer on today.com, Rosie Colosi, she wrote this story about how as a mom, she feels like it's just like one more thing one more she's got to do. Now she's got to go trick or treating. She's got to do Elf on the Shelf. She's got to do the boo baskets. It's a lot. So people have a lot of opinions on this. So what do I, you guys think? I, th I say no to the well, boo basket. Well, my kids are in. And I wrote Wait, your kids a text. Are what? My kids are in a boo basket situation. Oh, okay. And I wrote it. They picked it with their friends. I have nothing to do with it. But I actually wrote the parents last night before I knew this was a thing. Uh, um, I wrote this. Also, one boo basket issue. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Who are you? We are leaving out this person. Blah, blah, blah. What do we do about that? I am over the boo baskets, and it isn't Halloween yet. Good girl. Wow. So, and I agree 100 with Jenna. So what do we, what is, what are well, our boo baskets? Is this like for the class? Like does everybody they in the class have No, and that's the problem. They want to take him to school. We're leaving people out. Yeah. I'm okay. over it. Okay. Yeah. So, well, 25% of people who voted said they are also over it. They're not, doing, they're not doing the boo baskets. So. <laughs> so most people said no. Yes. 64% said no. 25 said yes? yes okay. Exactly. All right. What's our Turn. next one? So our next one is about Halloween candy. So the Washington Post recently did this story where they talked about the fact that chocolate prices are increasing. That plus the fact that Gen Z and millennials prefer gummy and sour candies has kind of led to this online debate of what do you prefer for Halloween candy? Chocolate or gummies and sour in the sour situation? I think that Chocolate is the best way to go, and I'll tell you why. Number one, for your kids, the dentist will tell you the worst thing they can get is a gummy. Uh, it gets stuck in your teeth. Wait, why is my forever. dentist never told and me that? And this, by the way, <laughs> this melts away. It doesn't get stuck anywhere. It's delicious. So I think chocolates are the way to go. Gummies are going to be bad. You, you want to pay that dentist bill? One of my okay. favorite hodas is like lawyer hoda. <laughs> <laughs> she watched enough Datelines and recorded them herself you, to get think? all in but there. She's like think? prosecutor. Yeah, what do you She's think? looking at me like I made a gummy. <laughs> all right. um, I like chocolate because chocolate. chocolate's delicious. Okay, so what do our viewers say? So 76% of our viewers yeah. are team chocolate. Yes. I, for what it's worth, I like a gummy. Well, I have to I've been say, eating I the gummies. gummies are good. Because, yeah. All right, what's our last one? We just have another a few okay. seconds. So the last one is the pickle witch from Jimmy mm. John's, which is so basically recently there's been this trend of having sandwiches, but instead of a bun, oh I love your idea. Yes. And so Wait, now what's, what's inside here? So the, these are yeah, Damn, cold meat. cuts, um, tomato, all of I, you got prosciutto. I think that's and that's the a fancy so Jimmy, Jimmy John's? John's is available from now until November 14th. Mm. This is inspired by the mm -hmm. Jimmy John's sandwich, but now Absolutely. now you guys got me wanting to this try is it. This is a ten out of ten. But the question is, is it considered? a sandwich if there's no bread yes. in it. Right? Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> okay, Jenna has given us our yeah. answer. I like this Definitely. better than a sandwich. Me too. I want mm. It's so delicious. Pickles are hydrating. Okay. They're really good. Okay, 75% say yes. It's 75 a sandwich. 75% say it's up there with Jenna. This, this is really good. Mm. I was skeptical, but wow. Mm. I'm yeah. obsessed with that. I'm going to make a pickle witch at least. That's and so like good. And I like size. You won't. I know, I'll never make that, but I love it. <laughs> to get in on these viral debates, go to jd.com slash poll. Coming up, y'all, we are so excited. Oh. The sisters. <laughs> Nobody wants this that everybody wanted. Aaron and Foster. Everybody. Are right no, after this. One. <laughs> All right. In its first four days on Netflix, the new rom-com series, Nobody Wants This, had a remarkable 10 million views, and it has been winning over fans every single day since. Fans like us who have become it. totally obsessed. obsessed. And if you're one of the people absolutely loving this show, you have these two women to thank, mm -hmm. Aaron and Sarah Foster. Aaron created the series starring Kristen Bell and Adam Brody, loosely basing it on our own love story. And Sarah is one of the executive producers. Let's take a look. This guy's grandma had a really good life. She was a rockette. She mm. spent 42 years with her soulmate, William. Oh. And I shouldn't know so much about this woman because I was on the date for 30 minutes. Okay, can I just say what everyone's thinking? Be my guest. Okay, great. Thank you. We've done this podcast for like, what, 119 episodes? And this story you're telling, it just sounds like very familiar. 
I have never dated a guy who was in love with his grandma before. No, babe, I'm talking about like, you know, when you find a nice, normal guy and you find fault with him. It's like, I don't know if you actually want to meet somebody. Yes, I do. Oh, <laughs> guys, okay, we were so obsessed. So Everyone obsessed. Is. And I just want to thank you because my husband found my box. You know, but oh, the box that you just <laughs> found your box. <laughs> That's a problem. Jenna. <laughs> Wow, my whole life. <laughs> I'm just glad you finally found it. No, no, no. The box of you got makeup materials. Oh, his ex, his, his ex. No, my Correct. materials. Her, her Guys, box. is this the sixth hour or the fourth <laughs> yeah. hour? The show is over really soon. Welcome to the tenth uh, hour. Your <laughs> ex's the, box. Uh, no, my, the box that I have filled with all my ex's yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, okay. I thought it was your husband's. No, it was her Wait. box. Okay. <laughs> so this many boxes. Really anyway, so the many point boxes. is, we had a conversation starter, okay. which we had seen this, and he's like, texted me, I, I found the box full of your ex-boyfriend's photos. Do we want to talk about this when you get home or now? You know? Okay. But he also understood it was totally normal. Yeah. Because you guys filled the show with all of the things that we've been through. I mean, obsessing over an ex is just like such a relatable Normal. human thing. Yes. Although it's interesting that yours went the reverse way because for us in the writer's I room, know. all the women understood it and the guys were like, if they've moved on, who cares? It's well, like, that's, you don't get but it. But he wouldn't exactly. have understood it had he not just See watched the show. The the show. Yeah. You gave him okay, language. Okay, let's talk about the title, Nobody Wants This. Everyone's having so much fun. Yeah. I think <laughs> SNL even did. They were like, what's it called again? Yeah. Who wants this? Nobody wants <laughs> Wait, it. What was it on SNL about? Yeah. Or so, yeah. Wait, what? You didn't, know, you didn't know about that? No. It was something about they couldn't figure out what the name was and everyone was bouncing uh -huh, around yeah. ideas. So tell me about the name because we... It was never it. supposed to be Nobody Wants This. Oh, really? It was supposed to be Shiksa. It was called Shiksa, Shiksa. for like oh, three like years. And then what Shiksa. happened? I mean, it's uh, it's a Yiddish word. It's yeah. hard to pronounce. It's technically an insulting word. Um, Wait, and no, so, it's not. Well, it's debatable. <laughs> well, you're... It's debatable. By the way, we let you bring your podcast here. Yeah. Yeah. We just want to sit and let you guys fight. I'm like, Sarah's correcting on live feed. That's not really fun. Um, well, yeah. We, no, let's get into it. Let's yeah, yeah. It. Sure. Okay, well, let's get into it. No. No. Uh, it can be considered insulting. Okay. And, uh, like, it's just, you want to be universal. You want to be global. You know what okay, I mean? That's right. And this is based off your love story, yeah. although you didn't marry a hot rabbi. No, I married a hot non-rabbi. I just <laughs> married a hot Jew. <laughs> but it turns out that there wasn't, like, enough conflict for a TV show. Okay. And so, yep, there, he there wasn't. He wasn't a rabbi for the first year of developing the show. He wasn't a rabbi. You mean, oh. you mean the character? The character. Adam Brody. Yeah. yeah. So, no, y'all made Adam Brody, even though he was always but, hot, like the hot, he's the hot. one. Now. He's every he's woman's one. fantasy. He is. It's the way he touched the face. That was the. The moment. touching the face is getting a lot that of was attention. The whole thing. I mean, when we watched the first kiss in real life, when we watched them kissing, it was like well, you were crazy. You were. Aaron was on. You know, you're supposed to be behind monitors, but she was like right there with the actors <laughs> when the kiss, and she was like so specific about what she wanted the yeah. kiss to be. What did you want? I just, I you wanted, wanted just hot. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted him to take control. Yeah. I wanted yes. him to boss her around a yes. little bit. Yeah. If you're going to be like a nice, sweet Jewish boy, <laughs> you're like, yes. you gotta yes. like, you got to be like, put your ice I'm cream down in. and yeah. drop your bag. Yeah. If you yeah. want me to kiss you, I'm about to give you the best kiss of your damn life. Yeah, there you go. And she's like, okay. When she, put, when, he, when she put her bag down in yeah. downtown LA, I was like, that's going to get stolen, man. Uh, Pick that up. People thought it's that. dangerous, but worth it. Yeah, it was. Okay. Let the bag go. Who cares? What your husband think of the whole thing? I mean, he. <laughs> we went to a Shabbat recently yeah. dinner at a friend's house. Oh, let's not. And I, if it's my friend, I don't want to hear about it. If it's your friend, what? Alyssa. No, oh, we What's share her best friend, and we like to fight about her. So Jenna's original, her oldest best friend from Texas is now my new best friend in LA, and I feel like I guess she's just my friend now, and I don't know if she's really <laughs> with you anymore. No, no, she's still with me, just no. not in close proximity. I feel like she and she invited me to a Shabbat girl. dinner. <laughs> She invited me to a Shabbat dinner. Was that the one? Was when, that were the you one there? Uh, well, the one I was at, you weren't there. She's keeping us apart, which honestly would be smart. I know. You guys want to step outside? <laughs> Wait, like, okay, but what lot. happened at the Shabbat okay. dinner? Sorry, we I at, had to. We were at a Shabbat dinner, uh -huh. and um, my, my girlfriend was doing the prayers, mm -hmm. and she was like, Simon, did I do that right? And he goes, you guys know I'm not a rabbi. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm like just a regular Jewish guy. So, he, I mean, he loves it. He's proud. He's proud of us. One of my favorite lines in the, in the show is the ick. 
scene oh, yeah. where you're imagining the guy running after a ping pong ball. There was something about that. that was you know so, what's so funny what? is that my husband has all these girls who work in um, his office in Nashville and they always talk about icks because they're like young, yeah. they're like 24 years yes. old. And they came up with chasing a, a guy chasing a ping pong <laughs> ball is the ultimate ick and I stole it and put it in the show. By the way, brilliant. But it's perfect. Brilliant. Wait, you guys, we're going to have more <laughs> with Aaron and Sarah Foster right after this. Are we going to keep that on? I think it's a lot of air. Keep that. Yeah, I know. That's okay, exactly you're right. right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> we are back with Aaron and Sarah Foster, the sisters behind the hit show, Nobody Wants Because they're so good. And actually, everybody wants it. And everybody. since they're sisters, and we're like sisters, or really brothers, we're going to play a new game. <laughs> it is called Pointing Fingers. Our girl Donna is the host. Okay. Donna. Hi, I'm so happy. I'm in between Donna. my two favorites. Favorite duos. I love it. Okay, so Aaron and Sarah, you guys are playing together. Hoda and Jenny are playing okay. together. Do we have to agree on that? No. Oh, okay, great. Well, I mean, <laughs> you guys definitely won't. So that's okay. what makes okay, it great. fun. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I'm going to read a statement, and if if you are the one who's more likely to, you will point your finger up. If you think it's your partner, point to them. Point okay. Oh, great. Okay. okay. And if you have some some stories, that's okay. nice too. Okay. Who is more likely to never return a text? Oh, oh. come on. Oh. This is. See, we yeah. could be. There's a. Uh, yeah. Sarah doesn't respond to like like clear questions like what right. time should Same I be there? Hoda. <laughs> that was, hey, Same you know Hoda. what? We're busy. We have a lot going on. Uh, I don't respond to my family. I mean, it's, I, I, I do respond to my kids. Yeah. I do respond. Well, to I'm that. like her child, yeah. and she doesn't respond to me. By the way, I will I just say as okay. a judge, I agree with that. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Who is more likely to embarrass themselves in front of a childhood crush? Oh, that's oh. me. That is me. Oh my God, she turns red like a lobster. Like she can't even hide it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. less details. It's Sarah. a blushing. <laughs> less details. Oh, blushing. Pop. I have that too. Yeah. That means you, you know what Diane Sawyer told me. That means what? you're a sensitive soul. Well, that's oh my a, God. Yeah. When you blush easily. When you blush easily. Yeah. You need to actually have a sensitive heart. I don't think that's correct. No, I don't either. <laughs> Diane Sawyer, we love <laughs> Diane Sawyer. Okay. <laughs> Who is more likely to wear a sexy Halloween oh, costume? Definitely. Oh. <laughs> You bloody are Halloween all over. That's Aaron, you can't like. say that. I don't. I don't. Bloody slut. On the tongue. Slut. Aaron. <laughs> slut. 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 Aaron. You can't say that. What are you going to do for Halloween? She tomorrow? embarrasses us every time she comes on. Remember that low cut top oh, to yeah. her last oh, time? Yeah. yeah. You were uh, here. Uh, what are you going to wear tomorrow? Guys, Sarah's going to be a sexy cat. <laughs> She, see, that's what she does. Oh, I like that. Will you guys are you going to no, I honestly, I got to be honest, I, I don't have a costume. You don't have a costume? No. I, I'm just going to phone it in She's this year. She's going to wear a bodysuit and be like, I don't know, I guess it's a ghost. <laughs> what? what does that even mean? I'm okay. like a pumpkin this year. Pumpkin. Yes. 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 Show me the shoes. Yes. yes. For pumpkins. I, I wish a cougar. It. I can let you borrow my um, oh. leopard jumpsuit and then I just carry it around. around a glass and yeah. chardonnay and put on a fur and pretend and wear these. That she added the thigh. Yeah, because I was like okay. a cougar at the Marriott bar. Okay, who is more likely to slide into a slub's DM? Oh, Aaron. Me. Oh, no. me. Aaron. This surprises okay. me. You know, who do you slide into? No, here's the thing is that I'm just so confident. She I'm like Simon's DMs. Her yes, husband. That's true. Wait, he wasn't I'll, even into I'll her. Slide she was like, anywhere, hey. you guys. I just think no, I belong. You don't slide as much anymore these days. Well, no. no. Well, I mean, since you're I'm married, married I, well, yeah. I can't really slide into yeah. no one's DMs. She slides into less now that she's married. We should start sliding if we're getting oh, husband and daughter. First of all, favorite daughter, you guys run a business together, which is how um, cute are you guys? And head to toe favorite and daughter. Wearing too. I'm wearing favorite, favorite daughter. Yes. Favorite daughter, so favorite daughter. Favorite daughter. And you know that I've become friends with your third sister. Jordan. Jordan. She's the best. She's really she cute. She lives in New York. Yes, yeah, she does. She's got the great style. She does. She's the one. You should be wearing style. favorite daughter, by the way. I know. Well, I what know. about me? Well, both well you of also you. should be. <laughs> Why are you guys wearing favorite daughter? Season no. one. Um, season nobody one. wants this. By the way, it's already been. Um, it's crushing it. It has everywhere. a season two. I know. Season, season two. Yeah, picked up. Thank you for the words. <laughs> All right. Season one of Nobody Wants Coming This. Coming up streaming next. Streaming now on Netflix. Xana catches up with Zoe Deschanel to this talk style, chaos. wedding <laughs> plans, and more <laughs> after this. We're <laughs> now with our Girl Today style correspondent, Zana Roberts-Rossi. Uh, she's bringing us another one of our fabulous celebrity conversations. Hey. That's right, ladies. This time I caught up with the fabulous Zoe Deschanel, and we were talking all things fame, family, and of course, wedding plans. Take a look. She's an actress, an entrepreneur, a musician, and a mom. I am beginning to think there is nothing that Zoe Deschanel cannot do. I am here in her hometown of Los Angeles, California, to sit down with her to talk all things fame, friendship, love, and of course, her signature style. Since her breakout role in Almost Famous at just 19 years old, 
Zoe has amassed more than 60 acting credits in hits like Elf and 500 Days of Summer. Sorry. I said I love the Smiths. You've certainly had a career filled with highlights. Yes. After highlights. <laughs> Was there ever a tougher time? I've had like actually many of those, to be honest. Right around when I put, put out like my first record, I thought I'd probably, I might switch to just making mu music because um, there just wasn't a lot of work. And then, you know, I ended up doing television and that, you know, would end up being like an amazing opportunity for me. In 2011, Zoe embarked on a seven season run on the hit sitcom, New Girl. You know what we should watch? Have you guys ever seen Fame? in Rolling Stone, you talked about how you cannot control what other people think of you. How do you shut out the noise? It's not any of my business, so I just have to like worry about myself, try right. to be like a, a good person, like be a good partner, be a good mom. You are very open about your diagnosis with ADHD. Yeah, I think it's like really important for people to understand that there are a lot of things that go along with ADHD. You might have a bigger emotions, you might have a harder time like handling new information. I remember always growing up, people be like, you overreact so much. With age, I learned to not do that, but like, we have to have empathy for people who are, you know, like dealing with different things. You are engaged yeah. to our fabulous Jonathan yes. HGTV. So you met on Carpool Karaoke. Yeah. He said it was love at first sight. Yeah. Was it for you? He has such a warmth about yeah. him. He's such a like mm -hmm. fun, kind yeah. person that, I couldn't help but love him, you know. He texts you immediately after. We already had, like, he had messaged me on Instagram and we were kind of like joking around a little bit. And then our first date, like, we went, um, we actually did karaoke in an escape Stop. room. You have any wedding plans? We actually don't yet. I would be honest and tell you that. Yeah. We are just being really slow about it. <laughs> we're just together and committed, yeah. so it's not like we're, you know, dragging our feet for any other reason that we want it to be special. Oh. Your home reno. Yeah. I was watching that tour of your house. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Thank you. You have a lot of entertaining spaces. Yeah. Do you like to host? We do. If you were to have a dream dinner party, who would be there? Audrey Hepburn. Okay, I see this. Because my mom and dad like met her at a dinner party. They did so not. They did, and my mom like worships her as just like as much as I do. My mom said that she was like at the buffet and that Audrey Hepburn was in front of her uh -huh. and that she grabbed the plate and put a bunch of spaghetti on it and turned around and gave it to my mom. And my mom was like, Audrey Hepburn's giving me spaghetti. At which point she's <laughs> like, my daughter will have bangs and dark hair. Yes. <laughs> now you have such a distinctive style. Yeah. I'm interested, how did you form that? I was always like vintage shopping. In high school, I would like make clothes and go shopping at Salvation really? Army. It was like, I was on a budget, you know? Yeah, so I was always trying to look cute. I've always had like a particular aesthetic. It's that aesthetic that Zoe says is reflected in her new collaboration with Vera Bradley. I think a lot of people know them for their beautiful quilted bags uh -huh. and their prints. But they also now are making a bunch of beautiful elevated mm -hmm. um, evening bags as well. Let's get into some bags. Okay. Which bag says, I'm a cute fiance and I'm going out on a date night. I would definitely do this with like a little black dress. You're a working mom, you've got two kids and you've got to leave the house. This tote. This is, this is a great mom bag. What are you taking to the airport with you? I'm. Because you know you're going to get paps. You know, <laughs> you know I'm taking this. There's lots of pockets, uh, spaces for everything. But I could not let Zoe leave without putting her in the hot seat. Shop this trend forever. Ballet flats. Drop the trend forever. Low-waisted pants. Shop with one co-star. I did have a really fun shopping trip with Frances McDormand, <gasps> so I'm going to say that. Shop in whose closet? Kirsten Dunst looks really cute. Drop an album about this chapter in your life. What would it be called? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> she's so cute, so vulnerable, so open. Lit up when we were talking about Jonathan. It was so sweet. That's very, very, very cute. cute. And an adorable and then couple. An style. All right. We love her style. Yeah. You see that in this collection. It's okay. really cute. Is it Shall we get a Let's shot? Shot? Let's do it. Oh. This is the thing we Our love. favorite thing. Okay. So we reached out at our friends at Vera Bradley and they are giving today's show viewers an exclusive deal. We are talking 35%, guys, wow. off 
all of these. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. All right. Let's reveal it. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay. Nice. There are six different key silhouettes here, and I would love to start with. So this is basically, this is called, I'm going to get the name right, the Marcel shoulder bag. This is the one I left set with. It's mm. super chic, very cute, and fits a lot in it. Mm -hmm. We also have these incredible duffel bags. Now, Vera Bradley's known for the yes. duffel bags. Oh, yeah. that's So cute. this would that's retail. That's a great workout bag. Oh, it workout is. kids, errands, you're traveling Lightweight. overnight. Let's Lightweight. Look at the inside. Holy Waterproof. Moly, I want many that. Many pockets. 80 bucks down to 52 bucks. 52? Right. And this one was 95 down to 61. Then we have this cute Blake crossbody. This is cute. Okay, look at how cute. cute. This is you can like have it that. on, off. Your go to have everything in it, and that one is was 45, and now it is 29.25. Wow. And then this tote, the tote is the timeless classic for everyone, but actually is the it bag. It's like a teeny season. tote? Yeah. A teeny tote, how good is this? What do you and put in there, like your phone? Phone, and your keys, keys. Well, phone keys, wallet. That's phone all you need. That's all you need. Lipstick. But then the, done you know, and, done. and you can fit so much more in these. And, the and these all comes in tons of colors. I, mean, you, I think we got them all over there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. great We're variety. talking like 70 different prints, fabrics, colors, Love. textures, oh, cute. everything you might need, and it's all 35% off for 48 hours only. Only. Amazing. Love it. Thank so to you, get thank this you. exclusive Vera Bradley deal, head to today.com slash shop or scan the QR code right there on your screen. Thank you. Great right job. There. Always so good. Coming up next, it's almost Halloween. We've got a delicious dessert you can make with your kids. How like that. That's this. just so lightweight. I have Guys, Halloween's tomorrow, and if you've got a party planned, we have a dessert that you're going to need that will take the cake. Yeah, here to show us it is the creator and author of the website, Rustic Joyful Food, Danielle Cartis. And you guys can follow along with this beautiful recipe yes. as we make it. Hi. Hello. Are we ready? Are we ready uh, we're ready. Halloween? We're ready for, for sure. Halloween. And I'm a cute, I'm team cutesy Halloween, not team yucky Halloween. Yeah. yeah. So no bloody food for me. Good, I mean, good, they, good. they do it, we but like here we cutesy. go. We, we like cutesy. cutesy. Okay. My seven-year-old loves this. What are we going to make? So we're doing a double layer chocolate cake mm -hmm. and it's a little naked cake on the sides because I'm a lazy froster. Good, I like but it. this frosting so how do we is amazing. Start? You guys, this is a dump and stir cake. So we're going to take our butter, what do we have in dump here? them in. So we've got flour, sugar, cocoa powder, boiling water over here. We're pretending it's boiling. But okay, it's so hot. I'm dumping in how much dump butter? In. This, this looks like several sticks. Wow. This is a cup of butter. This is a cup of butter. That's lot. two sticks. Oh, just two? Four eggs. Yeah. Boiling yes. water. Yes. No, water goes at the very end. That's what Water goes at the very end. So watch, this is what happens. Greek yogurt. I'm going to swap you spots, babe. Greek yogurt? Greek yogurt. So what think is that creamy. Doing? It makes it really moist. Uh, you know some people put mayo in the cake? No, you know, I've never heard that. You may mayo in, in the chocolate cake? cakes? That's an old school thing. Oh, you I could not put, know that. Yes. She does Our not, mothers weren't bakers. She does not, Our mothers like, weren't bakers. She does not like mayo. No, but yes. A little it. bit of vanilla. Okay, and this vanilla is, you're, we're going to pretend that this has all kind of okay. come together. I'm going to help you a little bit. Okay. Okay. And the cool use, part. Like, a little spinner for that? Right? Yeah. Really don't. Okay. No. So here, watch <laughs> this. So pretend this is yeah. all clumpy. In goes the boiling water. And what that does is it makes it into like a beautiful batter. Buttery. So we're going to pretend by the minute of television. Then we get this. This is so cool. This is so cool. So is this thing on? Is it on? I don't know. I, I okay, it. pop them on. Okay. And then we're going to add, we're gonna, okay. look it. We've got cocoa powder, sugar, um, salt, chocolate, and butter. And this makes this sort of like grainy, beautiful mix. Look at which that. Which becomes the becomes frosting. Becomes the frosting. This is your grandmother's this recipe. This is my Grandma Thora's oh, recipe. Grandma Thora. She's in heaven now, but she owned oh, a restaurant at, at the top of the Sears building in Portland, Oregon. And she was like the cafeteria style. So oh, that lunch lady arm, like, that that's in my blood. That is the best frosting I've ever tasted. Yes. Put your Can finger I put my in there. Please taste it. Yeah. Look at how beautiful, you guys. Look at how mm. gorgeous oh and spreadable. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I'm not joking. I'm going to trade you so you don't. So you don't do the sides. You said you just. No. Who has time for the sides? Nobody. And here's another little trick. I don't ever trim a cake. We pop that bad boy on and smoosh him down. And, and you then, don't, and he, the gravity is going to be your best friend. Okay. So what are we doing? So you start look frosting it. Look at this. Look at the wet, the wet at marshmallow. Look, look at, at that. See? You, you look like a baker. Wait. But they did do the sides here because they they're They did the sides here they're because fancy. they're bougie and amazing. Yeah. So watch this. Now, well, look at this. Wait, what is that? This melted is marshmallow. Mar melted marshmallows. Look what you're doing. So you take a little bit of melted marshmallow, you put it in your fingers, and then you literally... That's so good for kids. Lay, oh, it's perfect for kids. And I'm not like a oh, messy... I don't care if it's not. messy at my house. Oh, I do so, care if it's messy. Oh, but see, my husband does. Like that. Oh, he freaks out. He's yeah. like, what are you doing? I know. I'm like, close your eyes. Wait, look at those spider webs you're making. Look at this. Is that not the 
the cutest thing it's ever. It's so fun. By the way, nothing makes a spider web as great as a melted mushroom. I didn't nothing even think of that. And then you can put, see, here, I'll do all this And crazy look at all these stuff. cute things okay. you got yes. to decorate. Yeah, so you guys here hop in. Hold up. I'm going to wipe off the marshmallow, and then I'm just going to pretend that it comes off easy because it doesn't. And we're walking through the rest. But by as the way, I open how, this bad boy up. How cool. But isn't this cute? Do you guys remember cakewalks? When you're in elementary school? What's a cakewalk? A cakewalk. When you would go to the elementary school, as I touch you, when you'd go to the elementary school and you'd they'd play the music, it's kind of like duck, duck, goose. It were my, and the kids would go home with the homemade cakes. It sounds familiar. Yes. Wait, yes. But I don't think yes. I ever won the cakes. So. Oh, you guys, in okay, the fourth grade. Okay, can we grade, try this? Yes, you can try it. Get on in here and then just pretend. Don't close up on my hands, guys. Look at our little shrunken apple. This is like a beautiful little punch bowl Wait. full of Wait, we have skeleton to get this, heads. this chocolate cake. You have to taste it. Get everything. Oh, isn't it good? Oh my gosh. It's the best, not just because I made it. I mean, the team oh made it, but it's so Can good. Can I take that home and pretend I baked it? Please. I would love to box. Mm. They would love to box mm. that up for you. That's oh, my gosh. And there's so a second good. one. This is I get why you put the yogurt Wait, in there. Can, yeah. Mm. The Can yogurt I ask one is question insurance. about the yes. shrunken heads? Yeah. How did you make them look like skulls? <laughs> you carve them out. So you oh. peel them, They're and then you carve them, and you boil them with cinnamon, and it's apples, mm. and it looks just like a little skull. So you mm. kind of do it like a jack-o'-lantern. That is insane. Isn't that awesome? And is this an alcoholic beverage? Yes, it is. Yeah, this is a spiked cider. Yummy. So Love fun it. little punch. You can do that. And then we've got rosemary and oh, cinnamon God. sticks, and it's amazing. You're going to get some taste. So good. Nice. Thank you. To get awesome. these recipes, head to day.com slash food. We'll be back Woo. right after this. Really? I love it. That Delish. cake is nuts. Isn't that Guess what, y'all? The latest episode of Hoda's podcast, Making Space, okay. is out now. I sit down with neuroscientist Wendy Suzuki. She talks about how your brain can physically change with exercise. Check it out. It's going to be worth your time. You'll feel better when you're yep. done listening to I it. I can't wait to listen mm -hmm. to that. Okay, tomorrow, you guys, it's our big Halloween oh! show. Ooh. You know who's going to be joining us? Anthony Mackie. Oh, my Alan gosh. Cumming. We're going to have so much fun. Let's go. Bye. Bye. Bye.